Let me tell you a story about modern selling that's going to help you think through how your customer success team can completely change the way they're engaging customers. A Global 100 customer of ours, the biggest challenge they were having with their customers is one in four or one in five of their accounts they couldn't get a hold of. So these are active, paying MRR customers that they couldn't get a hold of. And so they call this in pursuit. The challenge is that somebody in a large company or mid-market company will buy their solution and then uh, be pretty fickle about getting back to them around best practices, product innovation, having their you know, weekly or bi-weekly stand-up calls together. So that's a real problem. So as a modern seller, what it forced our customer to do was to step back and look at two major compelling events. One is the compelling event itself. So they're already tracking buying intent and product usage, also known as workload consumption, but they hadn't really factored in that there were these environmental or macroeconomic changes that were happening to their customers that they should be abreast of to help them understand, is this customer not getting back to me because people have left, because they're growing or shrinking, because they're in a maturity change, because they're going pre-IPO, is there competitors now in this event and they're evaluating competitive intelligence? So what they started to do was monitor compelling events, signal intelligence. Each one of their CSM learned the skills of monitoring compelling event intelligence, time, relationships, competitive intelligence. What that forced them to do was each CSM had to back up and then build top five lists. That meant that they had to select five accounts that no matter what, they were going to bring them from in pursuit, can't get a hold of, into activation. Now, how were they going to do that? That meant that there had to be signal intelligence. There had to be some compelling reason to reach out other than, so do you want to talk about my product? The next is they used a war room strategy or a key account plan. That key account plan asks three fundamental questions. Why am I going after this account today, not tomorrow? Number two, what intelligence have I learned or gleaned to help aid the conversation? And number three, how am I going to engage in a bold and different way? It forced the CSM to step back and build a one pager. That one pager gave them the kind of strategic roadmap to figure out how to unlock these accounts. The outcome was they were able to shrink that in pursuit by half. Now, what does that mean? Now you got a hold of your customers. Reduces churn, and then the best part is changing NRR and GRR. So net retention revenue, gross retention revenue. That means that you have the ability now to have upsell and cross-sell conversations. So the economic model completely changes for these for for these CSMs because they looked for compelling event intelligence and number two, they had a war room strategy against these accounts. I hope that this helps.